Hey everybody, how's it going? This is the meandering Newfoundlander again. So it's been over a week now since I went for a motorcycle ride, so uh, I was in desperate need for one. My depression has kicked in huge over the last while and I've been fighting every day just to get out of the house. And finally, I forced myself out and I'm off to Fairyland today to uh, have a coffee and get some videos and drone clips. And the nice thing about Fairyland, other than Fairyland and its history, especially when it comes to archaeological artifacts and history and background and that, uh, Fairyland is the first place that I actually decided to go and have a coffee ride. So I'm going back to my roots today. So sit back and relax and enjoy the view, the scenes, and the sounds. I'm going to do my best to make sure that you enjoy this ride. Anyway, I'll catch you soon. Welcome to Fairyland. Look at this view as it opens up before me. Beautiful, isn't it? This is for the benefit of those who haven't been here before. Erected to honor and erected to the honor and memory of those men and women of the southern shore who have sacrificed themselves in defense of freedom. Lest we forget. That's nice, they got all these rocks painted all the way around the uh, monument. Some of them have been there a while by the looks of it. Nice to see though.
Got to protect my head. Get my chair. And my camera gear. And my coffee gear. So this area here is the first place I stopped to boil up a coffee. Once I... Uh, finally decided to get into it. What a beautiful spot. So the last time I was here you couldn't see three feet in front of you because of the fog. A little more open today. So these boots have been here at least two or three years. I think they're a part of this wharf now. Changed my hat as you can see. I need more shade. Water is pretty clear. Maybe I'll come down snorkeling here sometime. Well, let's go back and set up my coffee, set up my chair, then get a few drone clips before heading back. Make some time to enjoy this place. I think I'm gonna set it up here today. Closer to the edge. Which way do I want to point? I think I'll look this way since the sun is behind me. <laughs> first thing is first, I need a place to sit.
All right, got to try it, of course. You know what, I got to say, in about two years of making coffees, maybe three years, I think I've improved a little over time. This is definitely better than that first one I had down here. Of course, the first one was just, I think it was Nescafe or Maxwell House instant coffee, and uh, the Keurig got me spoiled. I can't handle that taste. <laughs> Although when you're out in the middle of the fog or out in the woods somewhere, nothing better than an instant coffee. But this is percolated, so, or pressed, I guess you could say.
So now that I had some caffeine going through my system, after a few minutes of catching some drone clips, time to relax, time to come down. Yeah, this is one of those uh, fake it until you make it moments. That's what today is. Been doing a lot of faking the last few weeks. Yeah, I uh, my major depressive disorder has totally just drowned me the last little while and I force myself to go out and do things but when I do them it's there's no sense of accomplishment there's no joy from it it's just going through the motions basically it's like today for this ride I figured I'd come down and I'd feel all excited because hey this is my old stomping ground right this is where I came from my first coffee but uh, not really, it uh, doesn't feel the same, it feels different and, and I know that's because of the depression. So at least I made it out today. It's better than sitting home and thinking all this stuff. And uh, that's the thing that sucks about mental health, it just totally, totally screws your life up. Yeah. But at least I got coffee, right? In addition to the coffee, I have the sounds of those little waves. It's just enough for some ambient background noise. It's perfect. I get to stare at that seaweed as it slowly floats back and forth, rhythmically. Just, I don't know, it's almost like you can become mesmerized or entranced by their slow, fluid motions. And of course, the ride itself is a distraction because you're so focused on traffic, holes in the roads, looking out for animals, whatever it might be, hazards in the road. And you're so focused on all that that you're totally distracted from the crap that's bugging you. So at least I got an hour of that to look forward to. This is the boring part. I usually don't show you cleaning up afterwards. It's like playing those Russian dolls. Everything has a place. Everything just goes inside the other thing. It's great because it keeps things nice and compact on a motorcycle. Basically it's for camping, but it doubles. Is that the right way? I think so. Yeah, nice, that all goes in. There we go. Perfect. All done, all cleaned up, no mess, leave no trace. Chair away.
Bag away. Busy spot, always busy. Right? Especially tourist season, anyway. See BNB. I have to stop here and get my drone up. I mean, look at that. Definitely got to get a few clips before I go back.
That's it for another video today. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. I always um, found uh, Fairyland to be one of those nice, beautiful places to go visit. Next time I come down, I think I'm going to pay a visit to the uh, colony of the Avalon, which I've never been before. I keep hearing stories about it and the history behind it, but I've never actually visited. So that's on my agenda the next time I come to Fairyland. But in the meantime, take care. I hope you enjoyed a few minutes of peace and scenery, because I know I needed it, and hopefully you need it. And if you do need it, get out and do it yourself, because it's so much better in person than it is watching on a YouTube video. Anyway, take care and have an awesome day.